Uh, I'm in Bungendo, uh, one of the uh, suburbs in New South Wales, quite a countryside. Uh, we're starting a pace march for three days uh, without food to show our solidarity to the Tibetans. Uh, in Tibet, we've been denied access to food, water and electricity. And uh, I just want everyone to know that this peace march is not against uh, uh, the Chinese people or the China as a nation. Uh, what this peace march, what, what we want uh, the world and the Australian to know through this march is to, is to show them that Tibetans are genuinely frustrated with the lack of progress on Tibet issue and how the Chinese Communist government uh, have been treating Tibetans uh, uh, and neglecting and denial of human rights and, uh, and freedom in Tibet. Uh, I'm also uh, look, looking uh, forward for the, for the peace march, uh, especially uh, when I'm doing this march with ex-political prisoners and, uh, and I'm sure they'll, they'll continue to inspire me uh, the next three days. Uh, even though it might be a bit of uh, might be a bit of challenge uh, to me and some of the youngsters, uh, the Tibetan uh, youngsters here, who have never had uh, to go through without food for three days, but also at the same time, uh, uh, it'll be uh, a very humble uh, experience to have that tiny bit of pain that the that the majority of Tibetans in Tibet has to go through right now and to uh, and to have that sort of empathy that how it feels like not just psychologically but physically how it feels like uh, when you don't have access to food and uh, this march uh, uh, would lead up to the uh, to the torch uh, rally in in Canberra on 24th of April and, uh, and uh, we, we're being joined by Tibetans all across Australia uh, and the supporters all across Australia. Uh, chopping my hair uh, to leading up to the Tomorrow Peace March from Bangandor to Canberra uh, to show my solidarity to the Tibetans all around the world that, uh, that the Tibetans uh, in Australia are with them at the moment at this critical time in the t history of Tibet. It, it seems like uh, Tibet is uh, a big prison at, at the moment. Uh, no one can go out and no one can go in. So uh, the information that is coming out of Tibet is through the, through the radio and phone call that has been tapped. So all the Tibetans who are getting out the information uh, are risking their life. Uh, I've heard that more than 4,000 Tibetans in Amdo alone uh, have been arrested and there are a lot of Tibetans who are missing in Tibet. But, um, but yeah, um, a 2008 uh, would be a fantastic opportunity for all Tibetans to show that, uh, that that they haven't forgotten uh, uh, Tibet. Let these politicians know that uh, when it comes to Tibet issue, most Australian cares about what Tibetan uh, struggles stand for. You know, non-violence, peace, compassion, dialogue. Uh, and yeah, you know, uh, write, write uh, to the local members. Uh, what do you think about Tibet issue and what do you want him or her uh, to help Tibet? Uh, and and that, that's the only way to, to press really hard uh, to your local members that, that he or she raised the issue in the parliament and uh, hopefully uh, Kevin Rudd uh, will press harder every time he meets a Beijing official. Uh, that uh, that the Beijing needs to open up uh, towards His Holiness uh, in India. We're not anti-China, and it's same with the Olympics. We're not anti-Olympics. 
what we are up against is the Chinese government policy on Tibet and, uh, and we will make sure that our voice will represent uh, those voiceless uh, Tibetan in Tibet. Thank you.